All right. So this video is a correction to the video I put out on the 2GC when I said I ran ethanol with uh, uh, you know no problems. Um, not not that I haven't had issues, but I looked at the needle and seat. I said they were fine. Um, I have just replaced the needle and seat. Um, it is a neoprene tipped needle. So I believe it may have worn out faster with the ethanol fuel than it would have with ethanol free fuel. Um, just because I again came back, I pulled the cutlass in to um, install a, a different part. Um, but I smelled gasoline faint and I uh, popped the hood and it was dripping right off the end of that throttle arm where the spring mounts to again and I looked in and it was dripping right at out of the cluster right right out of that pinhole right 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 there right by the center cluster screw it was uh, weeping out so I went to uh, take a look. I'm like, all right, well, there's fuel getting by somewhere. It's probably the needle and seat. It's probably overfilling the bowl. And uh, it's uh, causing it to uh, flood. And I went to break the the, uh, the fuel line for it. Of course, it was pressurized. Um, and you got to be really careful on a hot motor when you crack open a fuel line like that because it's brace fuel everywhere and you don't want to start a fire. Know where your fire extinguisher is. Um, but I replaced the needle and seat. There is just the, the normal wear that I saw, but it must have just been enough. To, the ethanol affected the neoprene tip on the, uh, on the, uh, the needle. Um, and I'm not sure if it's from running or if it's from this running ethanol or if it's from ethanol fuel sitting in there for a little bit um, going stale eating away at the neoprene and then uh, evaporating out um, so I'm not quite sure uh, but it I may just have to uh, replace the needle and seat uh, once every two years um, but we'll, we'll see if that fixes the problem. Um, if I continue to have issues with um, fuel leaking, I will probably have to... I'll probably just have to rebuild the whole carburetor um, and say, you know what, maybe the ethanol did wear out those brass components a little bit sooner than I would have liked. Um, yeah, I would be unfortunate. So I'm ho I'm thinking, hopefully, I probably just would have had to replace the needle, but they come in a set. So I replaced the needle and the seat. Um, and again, this job took, it took me 15 minutes to replace the needle and seat because this 2GC is so simple. It wouldn't be that much harder on a, on a quadrajet. <coughs> it's also pretty easy. Uh, the hardest, the most time-consuming part is uh, this choke linkage. You just pop out this center screw, and that falls off, and you slide this off. Um, taking it off is not the hard part. Um, putting it on is the more annoying part. Um, but once you get good at it, it's not really that bad. So, yeah, we'll just uh, consider it. Uh, done until we see uh, more potential fuel leakage and if uh, it continues to leak fuel I guess I'll cross that bridge when I come to it